<laughs> visually and otherwise, I think that is um, two way headphones. <laughs> We're lucky to have Pamela, sorry. Um, so next is uh, Linda's husband, Ted Thomas. You know, Jane hands out the assignments. What inspires your, your poetry? I, I think the answer to that is, is memories, experiences. And I discovered thinking about them and thinking about some of the poems that I've written or will write to be ready to be made. That those experiences don't have to be in the present. They can have happened the happenings decades ago. They just have to be real and personal and sometimes even poignant. That's the case with these two poems which were written within the last few weeks. Sunday morning. Sunday school is out. Boyhood energies burst through the church door into the dazzling light of El Camino Real. That ribbon of highway that threads south from San Francisco, bordered by towering eucalyptus, casting long shadows on the heavy traffic passing through Burlingame. To an eight-year-old boy, a eucalyptus is more than a tree. It's a source of pleasure every step of the way home. Its seed pods are soft, swollen with a pungent oil. When a boy's heel lands on them, the oil drenches shoes and sidewalk. One's mind is concentrated on the game. Leap further, land squarely, keep count of the hits. Consequences away as always. The acrid odor will go home with my shoes. Oh, to hear again those shrieking sounds of motherhood. But not right now, while I'm crushing seed pods underfoot, raising a stench. A sudden awareness of silence. No traffic, nothing's moving. People gathered, gathered around cars stopped in traffic our doors open, radios blaring. I walked closer to one of the silent clusters of alarmed faces. The announcer's voice rose above the din of exploding bombs, attacking aircraft and gunfire. Strange names of unknown places broke through his speech. Hawaii, Schofield Barracks, Hickam Field, Pearl Harbor, Honolulu. It's midday in California, 